this is just one of the things that can happen when you drive your motorcycle here in Thailand. And when something like this happens, make sure you have a valid driver license. In this video I will show you step by step how to get your driving license for motorcycle here in Thailand. Driving without a driver license here in Thailand is an extreme sport because the traffic down here in Pattaya and Thailand in general can be extremely dangerous and economic disaster for you if you have an accident like I have. Remember some insurance companies will not cover you if you don't have a valid license and there are many police checkpoints here in Pattaya so that will also help you to not breaking the law and having to pay a fine and in some cases this Visiting the police station that normally is crowded with people. In my case I did only harm to myself and the dog got away with the shock. But harming yourself can also be, a, be an uh, economic disaster. To stay in a private hospital here in Thailand is not cheap and most of us want to avoid the public hospitals. But even more important to remember is if you cause damage or harm to another people you will have to pay for everything. So keep this in mind if you choose to drive without a valid license. So my biggest advice is to get your driving license as soon as possible. And in this video I will show you a very easy step-by-step -step guide how to get your license. But remember, in Thailand there are many roads leading to Rome. So this way of doing it, probably not the only way, but it is one of the correct ways to do it according to the Department of Land Transportation, the actual office where you go to take your training, testing and eventually gives you the license. I will do everything from scratch. That means I don't have any previous licenses from my home country with me. So let me show you what you need to get your license. And then I will show you every step on the way, how, where and when. Remember, the way I do it in this video is probably not the only way. But it is the way I did it after talking to the officer at the land transportation office. What we need to do is book appointment at the land transportation office, get the required documents, the day one of training and the day two of testing. That's it for this 105 baht. That's the easy setup. But now let me show you step by step what you do and how. All right, so I get my coffee. Let's do this step by step. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. Step one, book time at the land transportation office. You will then get an appointment. At the same time she give you the appointment, the date, time and more. She will also tell you what documents you need. Document you need is step two. Documents needed according to the nice lady I talked to is copy of your passport and all relevant pages. That means if you are applying for a sort of permanent driving license, the first year, two year, the next year, five year, you will need to have a non-immigrant visa. Uh, stamp in your passport and you need to take a co copy of that too. Step 3. Certificate of Residence or Residence Certificate. In order to get a Certificate of Residence you will need the following. Again, you will need to copy all relevant pages in your passport. You will also need a copy of your house book, uh, Chanot or rental contract, some other proof of where you are staying. and two passport photos. That's it for the certificate of residence. Then when you have this, you go to the immigration. When you enter the building, you tell them you need residence certificate. And then they will give you the correct paper form with a Q number. Fill out the form and wait for your turn. When it's your turn, give them the paper and pay the 300 baht. This takes about one hour. They will tell you to come back in about one hour to pick up your certificate of residence. So that's step three. Step four, medical cert certificate. To get a medical certificate, you can go to almost whatever clinic or hospital. You just tell them you, you need this for your driver license. Some will actually do a test on you. Some will only take a look at you and then give you the medical certificate. So you just find yourself a doctor. So that's it. Medical certificate, done. Step five, day one and the training session. Here I have some valuable tips for you. And then it's off to day one, the training day. 
Day one training session, meet up at the Department of Land Transportation at your time slot, the appointment time the lady gave you. Normally this is gonna be about eight o'clock in the morning and you just go up to the second floor and register at the counter number 11. Then you proceed into, in my case, training room number one. And this day, day one, is just five hours of watching video about the traffic laws in Thailand. In between, they will perform two eye tests on you. And that is one, looking at a color chart and, and tell the instructor the name of the color as she point on one, one color. And the test number two is sort of depth of field. It's, um, it's, it's one stick and you're gonna take the second stick to come up to be stay sort of like this. So you will sit some meter away and then you take the stick come up and you stop and you think you make them sort of balance they stay opposite each other and this is important if you fail two times you have to come back the next day that's it for the day one five hours of video and they won't let you go before 1 30. they have a time limit there so you're probably going to see one of these videos two times just to 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 keep you there until 1 30. step six Day two, test uh, driving exam and uh, computer exam. You meet up at the same time, eight o'clock, maybe a little bit before eight o'clock. And here is a super valuable tips for you. Park your motorbike near the entrance to the driving field. That way you will probably be one of the first to take the exam. And then you will again be one of the first to take the computer test. This tips will save you hours of waiting. So the driving test is like this. You drive out over a hill and then you turn on your right signal light and make a turn. And then you have to do some turnings between some cones. After that you proceed to the probably the most difficult one for some. Driving on a small narrow road elevated from the ground. If you go down you will fail this one and will have to come back the next day. After completing this after completing this test, you will have your documents signed. So driving testing finished, now it's time for the computer exam. And you proceed to second floor and wait for the computer test room to open. They open 9.30. And one more tip, be sure to be in that queue early. This can be time consuming as they have to log in and, and open the test on every computer. In my case, I was the first to start the test. And very important, very important. There are 50 questions and you need to get 45 answers correct. If you get more than five answers incorrect, you fail. If you fail, you will have to come back the next day at the, at the same time, 9.30. You get only one try on this one. You have, you have one hour to your disposal. So it can be smart to take your time. You can also go back to change some answers in the end of the test if you're not sure about some questions. And here's another tip. She will tell you this on the day one, but they have also changed all the 50 questions because the old questions were, was available on the internet. So be carefully if you try to look the questions and answers up from the internet. So take your time. Some questions are very easy. Some can be a little bit tricky. There was a lot of people failing that day. So pay attention to the video. They show you the previous day. And one of the video is actually showing a lot of the questions that will appear on the test. So pay attention to that video. Step seven. When you have passed the computer exam, you take your paper and head out to the counter number 13. She will take your paper and tell you to go to the counter number 15 for the payment of the license. You will, after the payment, get a cue for taking your photo and then you wait for them to print your driving license. After getting your driver license, you are done. Congratulations. You now have a valid driving license for motorcycle in Thailand. Bonus step, step number eight. You will get your driving license for two years the first time and when you renew your driving license next time you will get it for five years so remember that how much does this cost to get the actual driving license for motorcycle cost you only 105 baht but there are some extra costs with this as you see if you 
you need a certificate of residence, but that will cost you 300 baht. You will do some copy, uh, pro, uh, pass photos, and so on. So total, it's under five, for, uh, un, it's under 500 baht. That's how you get your driving license for motorcycle here in Thailand. Any question? Put them down below. If you like this video, I'll be super happy if you give me a like, and even more happy if you subscribe my channel. As they say here in Thailand, up to you. Remember to drive safely. If you want to see another great video, check out this video right here. If Or if you want to see some other random stuff, check out this video right here. Alrighty then, let's go drive our motorcycle.